Hi guys! So I'm here to do a tag and it's the summer's most worn tag and it's floating around YouTube and on some people's blogs and Mindy and I love a good tag, you know this. We actually first saw it from Cassie at Shades of Cassie and if you guys don't know her on YouTube you need to look her up and subscribe because she's fabulous and she did it and she open tagged everyone that has a YouTube channel so we had to jump on. And just want to say that while I'm here, obviously this is Minda's house, and she is hanging out over here trying not to make fun of me, but she's going to read the list off so I don't have to keep looking down because I feel like I have a ton of stuff to show you. So you're going to hear her voice. I didn't want you to think it was weird or anything. So, <laughs> so we'll get started. Okay, the first thing is most worn nail polish. Well, that's an easy one for me, and I've probably talked about these two so much, but Essie Tarte Deco for my toes and OPI Strawberry Margarita for my fingernails. I swear, I've shown them in a favorites video. These have been my favorite, and it's funny that I never had Tarte Deco um, the first season that Mindy got Tarte Deco. She was like, this is my favorite nail polish ever, and I'm like, yeah, it's really pretty. I didn't get it. I got it early in the spring, and it's been fabulous. This was my vacation duo. Oh my gosh, I love these. If you don't have these two and you like these colors, you need to add them to your collection. Okay, most worn hair product. Most worn hair. Okay, I did something, I kind of cheated on this one because I've been bouncing around hair product to hair product using some stuff up. And I'm going to talk about what I use for the month of July. I pretty much use these three things the month of July. And honestly, I haven't been using them every day since, but July got a whole lot of use. First thing was a number four um, super comb prep and protect. It's a little spray in. I got this deluxe size sample pretty much from Birchbox. And you just spray it onto your hair and then you comb through. Of course, your hair is wet. Love it. It helps detangle. It helps defrizz. Um, it just protects your hair from whatever you're going to be doing to it. So I would spray this in. And then I would spray a little bit of the Garnier Fruit Tea Style Wonder Waves. It's a style enhancing spray. Now, Mindy has curlier hair. I just have wavy. And sometimes that wave can look really good. And sometimes that wave can look cray cray. So, I really like this. It says soft tousled waves and it had frizz controlled. I think it worked. It didn't make my hair um, crunchy or anything. And then what I would do after that, after letting that sit, after I sprayed that, because I sprayed Garnier all over my hair and then kind of scrunched, is I'd come back in, and Jennifer, an awesome rep from Bumble and Bumble that we met at our Sephora event in June, she kind of talked to us about how to use this a little bit. This is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. And I've grown to really, really like this. You do not saturate your whole hair with surf spray, not if you're wearing it wet, um, not if you wear it dry either, but I just kind of hit around the crown just a little bit, just kind of like misty sprays, and then just took my hands and like zhuzhed and like scrunched it up, and I thought it was great, and I thought it was a definite vacation savior. The combo of those three when we were in the Dominican, I don't think I will ever go on a tropical vacation without having some type of prep and protect in my hair to help with the frizz, and probably these two things. These are a tropical vacation um, must, I think. Okay. Most worn bag. Most worn bag. You know, I've shown this in a What's In My Bag video. I've been wearing, wearing it to death, but I can't help it, and I want you guys to probably say bye to my baby scarf. <laughs> um, this is my Michael Kors. It was a birthday gift for my mom, not this past year, the year before. And it's just the, what's this called? Uh, logo, logo style bag. And it's tan and black. And in some lights, I feel like it looks a little bit navy, which I like. But it's black. Um, and then I've had this little orange, hot orange baby scarf that we found at Target many, many months ago. And I hope you don't see my arm shaking because this bag is like 30 pounds. But I'm probably going to retire my baby scarf because she's, she's not fresh anymore. She looks like... She's seen better days. She's seen better days. So, but this I've been, it's been my go-to every day for work, throwing everything in it, and I don't know. Maybe I need to start using a new bag right now. Okay, most worn shoes. Most worn shoes. Okay, I totally copied Mindy. You're going to probably see something similar in her video. But she bought a pair of Steve Madden flats, flat sandals. Now, she has a different color than I do. 
I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go get them. I did. They look like this. We both got them at DSW. I got silver. I love a good sparkle. I cannot help it. I need silver flat sandals, the pair I had. Oh my gosh, they were yelling to be um, retired. These things are so comfortable and so cute, and they are the first pair of sandals that I own with like the thong right here. For some reason, I just don't think that looks good on my feet. But if I could have afforded to go and, bought and buy like every color they had in these, which I think it was maybe five, I would have. But perfect silver sandals. And then, I don't know how much I've talked about my love for sneakers, and this goes for like gem sneakers, but a lot of the times I like sneakers during the day. Like, I love to dress up and be all girly and stuff, but nothing's better to me than jeans, sneakers, and a hoodie. I have to be honest. And this pair of New Balances, they're charcoal gray with a little bit of silver and turquoise. I don't even know what number. They are 574s. If you're a newbie lover, they're 574s. I've loved these. These things even went on vacation with me. I don't know, it's weird. I don't like to work out in New Balance sneakers, but to wear them around, I love them. So, yeah, they're my favorites. Okay, next. Most worn accessories. Um, accessories. Is this what I would talk about this or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have two things, and one is just representative of... Well, I'll just talk about that one first. I brought one of my mini scarves. Um, this happens to be a neon like coral with silver sparkle i got this at victoria's secret it was part of the pink collection um summer scarves i mean i live in we both obviously live in them but i don't know i just love them so much and i've worn them a lot they're easy to dress up just a plain little t-shirt and you know keep it moving and my other thing was a christmas gift that i got from mindy and it's a little michael kors gold chain with this little disc with little like crystals I'm telling you it's been so easy what I love about it is that you can make it shorter or longer and it's got the really cute little MK locket right there but it's just been a staple for summer I've really been into gold and it's pretty much just stayed stayed here with anything because it goes with anything so I think that's called the pave disc pave disc and they still have it and it also comes in silver rose gold and like a hematite oh god yeah she did not just say rose gold. <laughs> okay, most worn clothing item. Oh, um, I'm going to be silly and talk about t-shirts. Plain, colored, Target t-shirts. I've lived in these. I think I even Instagrammed a picture when we did a photo of the day back in maybe June or something. I had bought like six of these at Target. I love them. This is just one of... Well, I've added more to it, but these things are going to go into the fall with me. But without these little t-shirts this summer, yeah, they saved me. And at Target, you can sometimes get them for five, six, eight bucks. I can't remember. Five bucks. They can go on sale for five bucks. Yes. Okay. Right, most worn foundation. I would be totally remiss if I did not talk about the Garnier BB Cream. It's the Skin Renew Miracle Skin BB Cream, and this is the light medium, and it is my best friend. I love it so much, and that's all I can say. It has SPF 15. Um, if you don't have oily skin, try this. You will probably love it. It. I mean, even today when I went to put it on, I realized that pretty soon, a couple more squeezes, and I'm going to have to cut it open and then probably get another one. But this has been a summer must-have. Most worn blush and or bronzer. Um, I'm going to try to keep this really fast because you guys have seen these on the blog. But, you know, if you ha if this was all new stuff that you'd never seen, then you'd be like, they're not most worn. Laura Geller, Blush and Brighten and Apricot Berry. Got this from Birchbox. Love her. Love this color. Wearing it today. It is fabulous. Honestly, it's fabulous all year long. But this summer, I feel like I've really, like, rediscovered her. And then this one is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's from Not This Past Year, the year before. Um, it was their semi-precious collection, and this is called Rose Quartz. And I wear this as a blush and highlighter, and it has been... When this goes away, I'm going to be devastated, because I love it. Most worn lip product. Now, this one was really hard, because I love lip products. 
like a crazy person and but I also bounce around a lot so when I was thinking most worn I was like well I can't just pick a lip gloss because I thought about showing you the Clarins um, Prodige in nude but I kind of had not really used that very much the month of July. I'm not really sure why. I think I had just gotten some new stuff. But I went with something that's very silly but has been a staple. Um, the Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. I got the idea again from Lisa Lisa D1 here on YouTube. I had had this when I was younger and it actually puts out like a little bit of color. It doesn't dry me out and I feel like since I bought it back in spring, I have been using it constantly. So, love this. Most worn mascara. I don't think this one is a fun one for me, but I had to be honest and show you my most worn this summer. I have been trying to use up some stuff. This is a Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. This is just a little sample. I think I showed this not long ago and I rediscovered. And I have been trying to use the mess out of this for the summer. I, I like it. I think it does give me a little bit of... What is the word I'm trying to say? It might make my lashes look a little thicker, but as far as lengthening, yeah, I guess doubling. I get that. Lengthening, this doesn't work on me for lengthening. So I think it's a fine, like, every day, but if I want, you know, well, am I going to buy this again now? And then another one that I have used this summer, I got it before vacation, and I've been using it a lot, is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And I gotta be honest with you, I used to use this, and I remember really liking it, and um, I wasn't really into this that much, but I've used it a lot. I'm trying to use it up. I don't want it to go to waste. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. It's, I have been reaching for it, so. And last is Most Worn Eyeshadow. Now, I want to say Steal a Kitten, but you guys know that I didn't start using this until the 1st of July. And I have reached for this so much since I bought it. And I have really loved it since July, since the end of June when I got it. Um, but I feel like this, I don't want to say it's a rediscovered because it's not because I use it every once in a while. But I do feel like if this I used a lot, I feel like between the two, I've been going back to the Naked 2 palette even more than normal. I don't know why, because it's such it's so awesome. But yeah, I feel like this one has been a summer, July and August. And this one, I just feel like in rotation of my palettes that I have, I have been hitting this one more this summer than the others. So I just wanted to give that a little shout out. Because it is gorgeous, and a lot of people think if they have the Naked palette, they don't need the Naked 2. But I would have to disagree and say that they are different enough that you should have the Naked 2 as well. And that's it. Okay, that wraps it up for me. I hope I didn't speed talk, but I didn't want it to be so, so long. But Mindy will be up next. She's going to do hers, so you'll probably hear my voice. And thanks for watching. And if you guys want to do this, hop on. If you have a blog, do it on your blog. Snap a few pictures with your iPhone, do it on your blog. And if you have a YouTube channel, then obviously we tag you that haven't done it. And leave us a video response. It'll be really fun. Bye!